It's nice to uh, catch up again with uh, Life and Transformation Coach uh, Isabella here on the uh, E-Radio who joins us today. And the topic is, what is holding you back in life? Isabella, welcome back. Nice to uh, chat again. Hello, Eon and the listeners. Yes, when we talk about something holding you back in life, we really mean what is interfering and stopping you from living a free, fulfilled and happy life. Everybody's idea of what brings fulfillment and joy differs. For some people, it is personal success and for others, professional success. And to achieve success in life, we need to grow, develop, let go at times and move forward. Yes, indeed. Uh, Is there one specific thing that is holding us back in life? Yes, negative beliefs. Now, when I say beliefs, it runs much deeper than what you may think consciously. And just to clarify, um, I'm not talking about religion. I'm referring to what you believe to be true in your mind about yourself and the world. So our beliefs are part of our subconscious mind and everything we experience are filtered through those beliefs. So if you really want to let go of a negative belief such as, I'm not good enough, you really have to deal with that belief in your subconscious mind. I just want to mention this has nothing to do with hypnotherapy because I don't use hypnosis as a therapy in my coaching business. Um, But, Eon, answer yes or no. Do you like watermelon? Oh, yes. Times (laughs) 1,000. Yeah. (laughs) Do you enjoy swimming? Yes. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) Okay. So when one decides whether something is good or bad, or whether you like something or someone or dislike the thing or person, those decisions are very quickly made in the subconscious mind because you have a belief in your subconscious mind based on your previous experiences. Well, if you replace the watermelon or swimming with whatever else, you will see that if there is a negative belief about it, it usually stems from fear. So some people might not like let's say swimming because they had a previous bad experience with it or someone told them a specific story about it and the fear to have that experience repeated forms a negative belief about swimming it could even involve a trauma so i had my own very big motorcycle i won't mention which one because (laughs) maybe i'll just uh, make enemies with other motorcycle rivals uh, (laughs) companies Um, But I especially enjoyed riding off-road, and I was fearless until I had my first fall on loose gravel. And that experience and the fear for the small stones created a negative belief in me that gravel will cause me to fall. So I had to work on that fear and let go of that negative belief and the effects it caused to fully enjoy riding. Now, fear stems from self-doubt. If you are confident and you know you can do it, whether it is giving a big presentation, writing an exam, uh, making a career move, having a successful business, even going on a date, whatever, if you are confident, you won't fear. But as soon as that what if negative belief starts to surface, we are hesitant and we hold back. Yeah, it's so true what you're saying, uh, Isabella. But I'm, uh, I'm just wondering, why do we fear so much? Well, it does have a protective purpose. So your subconscious mind wants to protect you from physical and emotional harm. Why would your subconscious mind think something is harmful? Because you have certain beliefs surrounding it, whether you have experienced something firsthand or not. We stay in our familiarity or comfort zones because we fear the unknown. You fear rejection because you believe you're not good enough. You fear failure because you believe you're not good enough or you don't really deserve it. You worry about being alone or being a misfit because you believe you are unworthy. You avoid doing new things because you believe you haven't got the self-confidence. You may procrastinate, overthink or analyze, withdraw, and ultimately sabotage yourself because of the fear and the negative beliefs you hold. The thing is, the future does not exist yet. You are really creating the outcomes in the mind. So let's suppose someone has a business idea or wants to make a career move. 
you know it can work deep down in your heart and your gut this is your desire so what is holding you back and keeping you from pursuing it fear of money others opinions uh, self-doubt is it going to be too big to handle too much stress will you need skills or training is there going to be uh, too many responsibilities fear of failure the unknown but none of that exists yet look around you everything you see started with an idea and that is a profound realization to have wow absolutely everything was first someone's idea just take a moment and look around you glass wi-fi buildings tools a hamburger i'm not seeing a hamburger by the way just now <laughs> but uh, yeah. now imagine if people didn't follow through on their ideas because fear and negative beliefs held them back what our world would look like mankind is by nature creative and all created things starts with thought an idea first and that includes who you are and how you see yourself and the story you tell yourself about yourself so you need to let go of your negative beliefs about yourself in order to start creating new possibilities another thing um holding you back might be a lack of commitment and dedication in pursuing what you desire to have you might be highly motivated but how much effort are you really putting in you know the saying if you really want something you will find a way if not you will find an excuse so consistently working towards what you desire is so important it's all about the growth process successful people often come from having nothing i mean you can just go and google the world self made billionaires and you will be surprised some of them were even homeless at a time but their one key trait even after failing time after time is that they persevered working towards their vision they have a clear vision and an unwavering belief that they can do it mm. love it um isabella what about the role that uh, other people play in uh, holding us back other people can definitely play a role in creating a negative belief in our subconscious mind beliefs are often formed during childhood when someone says or does something to you and you subconsciously or consciously decide to believe it and it becomes part of your story you tell yourself but you are really just taking on other people's stories about you as your story of who you are or having bad experiences in relationships and then generating negative beliefs about yourself or about other people it could be a romantic relationship parent child relationship maybe the relationship between you and your boss and you start believing certain things which then really holds you back in life I can't get to keep a boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm not lovable. I'm not good at parenting. I suck at my job. I can't be financially independent and so on and so on. So ultimately however it's not the other person but your negative beliefs and fears that have formed surrounding the other person's actions or words that is the problem. There is a fear climate in today's world we are constantly bombarded by bad news on the media and social media often generates its own fears especially regarding comparison so comparing oh, yourself yeah. to others can very quickly create a negative belief a lot of times believing i am not good enough you know no one has ever successfully achieved or hit their goal by focusing on their rival's target yes modeling successful people is a good thing but you should always work towards your own goal you are on your own journey and living your own life you said a lot of uh, very true things today isabella i'm feeling very inspired in fact um how can people right. uh, reach you for help you're welcome to reach out if you need help to get rid of fear and your negative beliefs no matter what it is you can contact me via my website lifecoachisabella.co.za and you can book a free session on the website no strings attached if you want to become clear and pinpoint what exactly is holding you back in life love it isabella this has been great thank you so much it was so nice to talk to you again thank you ion and the listeners may you all have a great day you too thank you